In the year 2000, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention reported approximately 16% of girls and 14% of boys between the ages of 6 and 11 were overweight. In 2005, the number jumped up to 30%, and in 2008, it was reported that one out of three children under the age of 18 were overweight. Kids um, are not going home as they used to 50 years ago, go home from school and then play outside. You don't see that. In hardly any neighborhood do you see kids playing baseball in the street anymore, whereas that used to be in every neighborhood. We go and we stop and we grab something. Well, our portion sizes are huge, you know. We, we get a, you know, a, a foot-long sub or we go and we grab McDonald's, which is, you know, twice the amount that we really needed a serving. Um, you know, we grab our soda, we eat on the run. Children of today are adopting the sedentary lifestyle of sitting on the couch for hours or watching TV or playing video games, never bothering to take a break for exercise. The average American teen has been reported spending five and a half hours a day watching TV, using the computer, or playing video games, which is why inactivity is the leading preventable cause of childhood obesity. You tell the student, well, the reason why they're three or four hundred pounds is because mom and dad are having poor habits. That, like, attacks the mother's personhood. Video games are normally placed with the blame as to why children are not as active as they should be. But what would happen if gamers were given what they wanted in the form of what they needed? Extra games are video games that require players to use physical movement to create action. Starting as far back as 1981, the video game industry has been trying to effectively combine exercise and video games, but it wasn't until 1998 that a real breakthrough was made. Born in the dark sweaty corners of Japanese arcades, Dance Dance Revolution took the world by surprise. With its unique interface, natural challenge, and upbeat techno music, the game was an instant hit, selling over 6.5 million copies worldwide and revolutionizing the way people looked at video games. Dance Dance Revolution's ability to make players work but sweat brought the game even more attention as schools began to integrate the game into their physical education program. Well, um, some kids are very athletic and like the, the different athletic type uh, um, things that we have. Uh, but then uh, some kids are not as athletic and this is another um, outlet for them to get exercise you know and, and movement um, uh, that you would if you don't play basketball or badminton or one of the other activities that we like to do um, so it's just another outlet or another area in which kids can use to, to get movement in school officials were skeptical at first of placing not only a video game in gym class but a video game that requires players to jump around on a dance pad pressing arrows that correspond to a techno dance beat. But gym teachers saw the game attracting students with little effort. I don't think you have to do anything. I think just uh, kids go down, they see other kids that, that have had experience doing it, and they get, you know, they get real excited about it, and uh, it sells itself. Students found the game highly entertaining and began to use it over traditional gym activities as an alternate way to exercise. Me, I'm a guy, so I like playing video games. Um, Regular stuff like football and just regular exercise, and it, it tends to get a little boring. And with something like this, I mean, you can either do it by yourself or do it with other people, and it's a lot more fun. Um, I mean, it's exercise with music and video games. I do consider it to be a better than traditional gym activities. It's just because they made it into a video game, so it kind of like the illusion of more fun even though you're doing the same activities. Well, I find Dance Dance Revolution more enjoyable because you're just following a dance beat. It's like being like in a club or just being in a party and you don't have to follow somebody all the time. And I think it's more enjoyable because you're just having fun the whole time. You don't feel like you're actually doing exercise. You feel like you're just having fun. As more students began to play Dance Dance Revolution, they noticed some benefits hidden within the game. Some benefits uh, that the game has is that it's more fun than most traditional exercises. Um, it's actually, it's really hard work sometimes, uh, depending on what level you're on. But 
after a while, you get better at it, and it becomes even more enjoyable than when you even started it. you got to have rhythm to do that game and to step on the right um, um, squares or whatever. But it also, cardiovascular, uh, they get moving the, the, you know, the faster the machine works, and, and a lot of the kids that are real good, uh, you know, that's good cardiovascular. They, I know they get their heart pumping and uh, everything moving, so it's uh, very beneficial to them. It makes you lose weight fast. It makes you have fun with friends or your family. It's an activity that you can do all the time that it's really enjoyable and it's not like a regular workout that you're doing. It's, you know, something that you can just do all the time and it doesn't feel like anything hard to do. Some students even felt that Dance Dance Revolution could ease performance anxiety. It requires people to you know, perform their best, even even sometimes when they're by themselves playing the game. Um, I know when I started out, I felt a little you know, pressure, even just against myself, like, oh my God, someone's watching me. Um, but even in public, if you play the game with friends, uh, you know, it helps you whether you do good or bad at the game, it helps you. And also, it's going to improve, if you play the game for a while, it's going to improve how you look and how, how much energy you have. So... I mean, I think if it, if it improves your health and it improves how you look, you're going to feel better about yourself, um, whether you're even playing the game or you're just, you know, if you're just experiencing the results from the game and you're going out in public, um, people are going to see people are going to see those results and you're going to feel really good about it. it. The game helps you express yourself in a more normal type of way. You can just, you know, you can dance to the beat and you don't feel like you're doing something stupid because everybody else is doing it. I think it can help people, like, be better in crowds, like, socialize with other people better because they can find other people that like the game too and they can just relate. And you, you don't feel like you're just stuck in your own little world. You feel like you're just a part of everybody, like, of a group of people that really enjoy the game. Adding Dance Dance Revolution to gym classes has made a big difference in the students that play it. A difference that inspired the state of West Virginia to add Dance Dance Revolution to all 765 of its public schools. A difference that inspired California, Florida, Tennessee, Mississippi, and Hawaii to start using Dance Dance Revolution on a large scale in their school systems. A difference that de-emphasized competitiveness and skill to focus on social and group building activities that all students can participate in and enjoy. A lot of children and us teenagers in our phys ed classes, uh, a lot of us don't like doing just the regular exercises, lifting weights. Some of us aren't even able to do that. We can't even, we can't even start to do that. So to place a video game, which is something that most people are more adapt to, you know, playing, um, I think it makes the experience in, in a phys ed class a lot, a lot better for a lot of people. Well, it is a uh, game that teaches you to work out, you know, while having fun. So it's not just like, oh, I have to go work out now. It's like, I'm going to go, you know, have some fun and work out. It's reaching a whole group of kids that aren't as athletic and gym class is not as exciting. And now we're uh, giving them an activity in which they can also get in shape and, and work out uh, with something that they like to do. Uh, that has rhythm and, and all the other uh, parts to it, cardiovascular workout. Uh, it's a great exercise. I think it would be beneficial because it would make like uh, students go away from like just a regular working out method and it would just give them another fun thing to do. And it's also like really like it's it's a really good workout for anybody who wants to you know be fit and you know lose weight. Dr. Linda Carson, a professor at West Virginia University and founder of the Games for Health organization, summarized the mission of extra games like Dance Dance Revolution, stating, We've had some criticism that we should not be bringing video games into school. We shouldn't be emphasizing video games to increase physical activity, and instead convince children to do these activities that are traditional. But it is now time to pair up physical activity with what speaks to this generation.
Show me the lead. Show me.